Hello, ladies and germs. Welcome to my channel. And I don't mean that gentlemen are germs. Well, some of them are, but a lot of them are lovely. Hello, my name is Jordy, if you don't know me. And today I played with the Kat Von D Divine Collection and it was fantastic, incredible, amazing. Before I forget to tell you guys, the beret is thrifted. I washed it, I don't have lice. The earrings are from Witch Worldwide. My super cute blouse is from Yes Style. I will link stuff below. Lately, I have been getting a lot of tweets and comments saying that my videos aren't showing up in their subscription box or you're not getting notified. So if you could just tap that little bell and let me know if that helps, if that makes my videos actually show up, that would be amazing. Thank you, I love you. I hear you, Ben. You better subscribe to my channel, Ben. If you're wondering about the collection, if you're wondering how I made this look, then stay tuned. This blouse is really, really noisy. It's not, not ideal for filming. Where? Oh. Mm, gotta keep my hair safe. Mm. I already put on my skincare stuff because my face was so dry and tight when I got out of the shower that I couldn't wait to do it on camera, but they'll be linked down below. To prime, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Hydrating Primer and Base. I forgot how much I love this. For foundation, I'm gonna use the BH, a BH, BH Naturally Flawless Foundation. Did you know that flawless is impeccable in French? I love that. And this is the shade Ivory. I'm just gonna squirt it on my head. as one does. This is a cute look. And I'm going to blob some white concealer on there. Also, got milk. And then I'm using the Furless It's Likely Makeup Brush Pro 4F to buff it up. Definitely gonna throw some on my neck. I'm gonna bring it all the way down because this shirt does up into a little turtle neck type of deal. Or a, a high collar. I'm not sure if a collar shirt is a turtleneck. Is it? I look like a ghost. Speaking of ghosts, have you guys ever seen the movie Kids? I love Casper. And then to conceal, I'm gonna use the ColourPop ColourPop. I meant to say ColourPop concealer and I said ColourPop twice. What? is wrong with me. ColourPop concealer in, what are you? Fair neutral and some of the way up concealer. And then back in with the same brush. Just gonna buff that out under my eye and over my eyelid. I love this brush. I can't stop thinking about kids now. That is sad educational though. I'm gonna contour with the Anastasia contour stick in the shade Fawn. And I'm blending. I'm Brenda. I'm gonna blend it out with the Pro 1F, which is a foundation brush, but it works really good for blending. And today's look is gonna be kind of dramatic. So we're gonna leave some drama in the contour. This brush is the perfect shape for the contours of my nose. And I mean like the contours of my nose, not like the contours of my nose. I'm not referring to my nose contours, the contours of my nose. No, maybe I should. Now I'm going to set and bake my face a little bit with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. And I'm using the Pro 2F. Some powder under that contour, get it real sharp. Bake my under eye a little bit. I missed the smell of this powder. I'm not sure what it smells like. It smells like Cap on D Lock It Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna use the Pro 4E to bake down the sides of my nose and get in a little crease. 
you always have to make sure to blend out any creasing before you set it with powder because then you're setting the crease to make. It's really hard to come back from that. I'm not gonna let that powder sit for too long because I'm a little bit dry. Just kind of tapping it away and pushing it in, kinda sorta. I really like the way this base turned out. It literally is different every day. I'm gonna do a full bleached brow today, I think. I mean, I don't think I know I'm gonna do it. I've got the products in my hand ready to go. So I'm just gonna use the same concealers I used for my under eye. Try and get it brushed throughout most of the hair. And then I'm gonna comb it through with the Pro 1E. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white out concealer right on this little brush. And I'm really lightly gonna comb it through the hair so it's not actually touching my skin. Only the little brow hairs. Sweet. Wow. I look really cute right now. Now I'm gonna do an eye look using the Cap on D Divine Palette. And first with the Pro 7E, I'm gonna go into Female Trouble. And I'm gonna put this under my brow and a little bit all over. Next, I'm gonna jump into Waters. There, you see what I did there? Still with this big brush. It matches my backdrop. Just blending it out in the grease. And pick up a little bit more. It looks really light in the palette, but it actually packs a punch to darken up the crease. And just keeping those edges super blended. Then I'm gonna dip into Baltimore just a little bit and darken the crease again. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a blend with the Pro 7E. And I think that we are good in the crease. And I'm gonna grab some pink flamingos, which is the green shade. Oh my God, I love it. Look at that. And that's gonna go, obviously, as you can see, on the lid. Oh, they're so soft. I'm not taking it all the way to the outer corner because I am gonna go back in with that dark blue and put that on the outer corner. This is so pigmented and creamy that I can pretty much do a cut crease without actually cutting the crease. I like that. Now I'm gonna use the Pro 3M. Grab a little bit of water. I'm just gonna dab it there. And then Baltimore. In the outer corner. And I never ever do this which is why I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna smoke out the bottom, really black. First in the waterline, I'm gonna use Melt Cosmetics Liner in 1987. All the way across. And then at the Pro 6M, I'm gonna go into Hard Magic. And get real smoky. And then I'm gonna use the Pro 3M, which still has a little bit of blue on there. And blend that out a little bit. Oh, I like it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I really like it. I'm gonna use the Alchemist Holographic Palette by Kat Von D. I'm gonna use Green Emerald for the inner corner. I am going to use the BH Spotlight Highlight Palette for my face and under my brow. Now I'm going to put on some mascara, my model's own Grandmaster Lash. Top and bottom. And for today's freckles, I'm going to use these little glitter stars called Meet Me on the Equinox. And I'm going to use my House of Lashes lash glue to put them on so I can actually see where I'm putting it. I think I will do three at a time. Cute. So that took approximately 13 days. It's been almost two weeks. I would not suggest putting on glitter freckles if you are on a time crunch. Otherwise, they're really cute. Next, I'm going to put on the Lily Lashes, the synthetic 
Miami ones. I forgot to put on blush before I put on my stars. Don't do that. It's gonna make it really difficult. But I'm not going without blush, you guys know that. These lashes are dramatic, but I feel like you can still see the eyeshadow past them. Mmm, my blush I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna use this little guy from the Ofra blush book. See if I can get it on there without disturbing my stars. I bet they'll be cute little stars when I pick them off. Like a little outline. We're good. I'm also going to do blush on my nose for this look. Just kind of around the under tip. And then for the lips, sticking with the Divine Collection, I'm going to use the Divine Lipstick, which is the yummiest, smoothest nude. It smells so good. It smells like cake batter or icing. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Studded Kiss Lipstick in Hexagram. And just dab it out in the middle a little bit. Now I'm gonna spray it with my Locket Setting Spray. An attempt to do up the buttons on my blouse with my incredibly long fingernails, which is a challenge. Come on, you little bitch. It has this cute little tie tied in a I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm gonna pull it back. I decided to accessorize instead. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I feel cute as shit. Really, really cute. The Divine Collection is incredible. I love the lipstick. I love the palette. 100% recommend grabbing it. It's incredible. It seems like a staple, for sure. Thank you guys for watching me transform from a naked mole rat into a... Um... Girl? No, I don't know. I don't know what I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on. Somebody help me.